I'm going to be going over everything realistically you need to know if you're trying to decide whether or not Electric Blue Ram is right for you in three minutes or less. Here's a fun fact. The Electric Blue Ram does not exist in nature. It is 100% made through selective breeding to have that high blue electric look. One word of caution when picking the Electric Blue Ram. Actually, a couple words of caution. One is the Electric Blue Ram really needs a tank that has been up and running for quite some time, at least six months. The Electric Blue Ram also thrives in warmer water, 85 degrees in my personal opinion. In most cases, I would say that fish developed by humans are pretty tolerant of pH, being that they were bred in captivity, and normally in pH varies from place to place. But I can't say that with this fish. This fish really wants a, a very acidic, low pH um, aquarium. So if you have a heavily planted tank with lots of tannins and driftwood, this fish is definitely the one for you. 85 degrees is what I suggest. In my particular experience, I've realized that people with higher temperature tanks seem to have better luck keeping these alive. This fish is gonna get about two and a half inches, the males being the larger of the two. Um, both the male and female of the electric blue ram look identical, except for the male will have longer um, streamers and, and um, spikes at the front of the dorsal fin than the female. The female's um, dorsal and anal fin will be smoother and not as stringy. Also, the female grows slightly smaller. Because of its size, this is a great little cichlid if all you have is a 10 gallon tank, but you wanna get into some cichlids. This fish is a very, very peaceful fish. The only time you'll see any kind of aggression is during breeding, and you would have to probably do that on purpose or get two or three of them, and they do that accidentally on you. But normally, you can put them with pretty much anything that won't fit in its mouth, like every other fish in the world. Tetris do fine with them. Um, other dwarf cichlids would do fine with them. They, they pretty much are, are a safe bet for a community tank. You're going to want to feed this fish a high-protein, um, high-quality diet-type food, so pretty much anything you buy at the pet store would work. At the end of the day, if you want to get into um, dwarf cichlids, you can definitely find this pretty much everywhere. They could get kind of pricey though. So shop around because I've noticed that there's a huge misconception amongst pet stores as to how much they should cost. Me personally, I wouldn't spend more than $20, but I have seen other pet stores sell them for up to $30, $40, which is ridiculous. And if you're standing in front of a $30 or $40 electric blue ram, you might want to go somewhere else. Thank you for watching. If this video gave you any type of value in your fish keeping hobby, please hit the thumbs up. It's a small gesture on your part, but it means a lot to my channel. I added some other videos that I think you'd be interested in. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and in the comments below, let me know what other fish you'd like me to do a three minutes or less on.